hey guys welcome to sk06 programming so today we are going to see a program to check whether a string is palindrome or not so string can be a word phrase sentence and palindrome is something which reads same as forward and reverse so we can take an as an example the word madam uh, if we reverse the letter of madam then it's again going to be read as madam so this is a palindrome now here's the code and int i is equal to zero and in flag is equal to zero so there are two variables which we are going to use in the code and they have been initialized to zero now char str20 so we have taken an array str of data type char and of size 20 so they are going to be there is going to be position from 0 to 19 in this array and it's going to store letters of our word now see out check whether the string is palindrome or not see out enter the string c in str so suppose we are entering madam so each letter of this word are going to be stored in array array of characters so at 0th position we will store m at 2nd position we are going to store a and similarly all the letters are going to be stored in the array at consecutive positions so int l str ln str so str len is an uh, string is a string function and it will store uh, the length of str in l variable so we have entered madam so it's going to store m a d a m that is five letters so l is equal to five now in j is equal to l minus one so j is going to be five minus one that is four so j has stored the last position we have stored the last position of that array in j now here is the for loop uh, now for int k is equal to zero k is smaller than l by two k plus plus so we will start from zero till l by two now in this for loop uh, there is if statement if stri is not equal to strj that means that the pos the character at 0th position is not equal to character at jth position then we are going to write the string is not a palindrome and set the flag variable which is initially 0 to 1 so if this happens then we will tell that the string is not a palindrome and the flag variable is going to be set as 1 I'll tell you why we are using flag variable later so stri is initially i is 0 so zero at 0 position uh, there is m so m is not equal to strj if m is not equal to strj what is strj j is 4 so strj is m so m is not if m is not equal to m then string is not a palindrome no it's false statement m is equal to m so we are not going to execute this if statement and come here i plus plus j minus minus so now i is 1 and j is going to be decremented that is 3 so we have started from first and last position and now we are incrementing the first position and decrementing the last position now k is 1 1 is smaller than l by 2 yes it's true so we will go here if str1 is not equal to str3 at 1 it is a at 3 it is a so they both are equal so we are not going to execute this if statement so i plus plus which is 2 and j minus minus 2 now again go back to for loop now 2 is smaller than l by 2 we are going into this loop now str2 is not equal to str2 no it's a false statement at second position uh, there is d and d is equal to d so string is not a palindrome no we are not going to execute this if statement and come here now i is going to be 3 and j is going to be 1 so again go back to this for loop now k is 3 3 is smaller than l by 2 this is a false statement so we are not going to into this for loop and come out here so if flag is equal to 0 c out string is palindrome yes flag is 0 as we didn't enter this if statement and didn't set the flag variable 1 so we have completed 
traversing the string from forward and backward direction and we have find that the string is same from the forward and the backward direction and so this is a palindrome if we would take another very in another uh, word which is not a palindrome then stri is not equal to strj is going to be true suppose if you replace m with h so it's hadam and hadam if it reads from reverse it's going to be mada so there is uh, the, it is not a palindrome so stri is not equal to strj at j position h at fourth position m so h is not equal to m so c out string is not a palindrome so flag is going to be set as one and then we will, we will uh, break this loop so when we come here if flag, flag is equal to zero c out string is palindrome no it's false statement flag has been set to one so we are not going to execute this statement and we have already shown the user that string is not a palindrome so let's test the code m a d a m string is palindrome okay now let's test for another word h e l l l l o string is not a palindrome so let's test for a sentence a b b a m a d a m so string is palindrome if we reverse all the letters of this sentence then it's going to be a palindrome too so here is the code and you can copy this code and try it out yourself thank you and goodbye